Hey guys, this is the first episode of a new installment we're doing called Tech Tip Tuesdays. Uh, it came about because we get a lot of emails and a lot of different uh, messages both on Instagram and YouTube, uh, people asking tech related questions. So we figured we would do a weekly uh, episode uh, every Tuesday where I'll go through some of the questions that we've got and uh, hopefully answer them for you. So I'm just gonna bring them up on my phone here. Okay, so one of the first questions, Maxim Simons was asking if we could do a little bit of a tech tip about replacing the seal from the axle to the engine. Uh, we recently did a video on how to disassemble and reassemble uh, axles on a Mini. Um, so we can absolutely do that for you. Probably the best way to show you how to do that is um, on a spare transmission. Luckily we have one in the pack. Uh, so let's go over there and take a look and I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we've got a transmission on the bench here. I can show you. I'm move these Honda parts out of the way. Okay, so what you're talking about is the seal that goes in between here and the outboard. Let me uh, pop this out. This is a little tech tip. I made one of these tools just out of stock steel and shaved it down, cut it. Uh, this helps to be able to pop the uh, pot joint out. You can buy these, but it's easy enough just to make your own. Put those here. Easy as that. So if you don't have one of those tools, it's really handy to either make one or buy one. Um, makes it so much easier than trying to get a punch in and hit it out sideways. This is a really good investment. So once they pop out, you'll see that there's this seal right here that goes inside here. This one's kind of broken, pulling apart. Uh, you can usually just get a little screwdriver and slowly work it out from the inside. Um, and then you pretty much just tap it back in, making sure that it's flush with the edge of the, the side cover right here. And then put the axle right back in. Now, one thing to notice is if it is leaking from here, it might not be the seal. Now, there are two um, bushings inside the diff here. There's one from the inboard side of the differential uh, that goes um, from this, this piece here. Um, it's on the, the, the planetary gear on the inside. Uh, that needs to be pressed in and reamed. And then there's also one that sits right in the side covers here, and it rides against this. Now, if these are um, loose, knock this one back in. So, if this here is loose, and you can see on this one it is, so knocking back and forth, um, there's a good chance that just replacing the seal on the outside of the diff cover here won't actually fix the leak. Because um, if this is allowed to wobble around, uh, it's only a rubber seal, it's just gonna leak past there. So if that is the case, you're gonna need to take these off, um, press and ream new uh, bushings, new brass bushings inside here and then replace it. Uh, keeping note that if you are taking these off, uh, usually easier done with the engine out, but. I think it's possible with them still in, uh, but you will need to shim the diff. So if you are taking them apart, um, that's something to be considerate of because there's some shims on the backside here and you need to make sure that the preload on the diff bearings um, is, is done properly and that's taken care of um, with these side covers and the shims that ride underneath them. So pay attention to that. But yeah, take a look, see if they go up and down like this. If they do, uh, you most likely need to replace the bushing inside and then the seal. Uh, if they're nice and tight and it's still leaking, then the seal uh, will definitely help uh, fix that for you. So that's what you should be looking for. Okay, so uh, through Instagram, uh, Diamonds in the Dirt Garms asks, any suggestions on getting my B16 VTEC Mini driving better? It has gas shocks, but driving over the tiniest potholes bangs the Mini up pretty hard. So this could be a couple things. Uh, it's hard to say without actually seeing the car. Uh, what I would first suggest is make sure that all your suspension components are in good working order. Uh, if your ball joints are loose, your wheel bearings are loose, 
um, or if your you know your mounts for the actual suspension pickup points or the subframe are loose, um, it'll be banging around um, and you'll never be able to get it to ride nice. So make sure everything's in good working condition. Uh, the other thing I would suggest uh, is make sure that you've got full range of motion. So uh, make sure that you're not hitting the bump stops. If your car is really low um, and you've got you know half an inch of, of travel before it hits the bump stops it's going to be really rough i think a lot of people maybe put their car too low and then complain when it doesn't ride really nice so one thing to make sure uh, to do is just to articulate the suspension usually you can do that lifting the car up in the air and using a jack uh, move the wheel up and down to make sure you've got full range of motion make sure nothing's binding uh, and then make sure everything's in good working condition and you should have a good riding car that's what i would suggest and then a little tech tip that we have here, um, you may have seen recently, we did a uh, transmission rebuild uh, for one of our customer cars. And uh, whenever we're pulling anything apart, whether it's a VTEC build like this, um, transmission, no matter what, if there's a bunch of small parts, uh, we like to organize everything using um, Ziploc bags. Now, uh, you can take as many pictures as you want, but if you put everything into one uh, big container, quite often A, stuff will go missing, um, or you'll forget which bolt goes where. Uh, so the really easy way to do it is just to take a bunch of Ziploc bags. Um, as you're taking the parts off, put them in um, into their specific ones. For instance, if you're taking off you know, the lay shaft of a transmission, take off the lay shaft, put it in the bag with the proper uh, shims on the side, lay Label it lay shaft um, and then you can put it away and you know whenever you're coming to reassemble it you have all the parts in the specific bag I like to use the bags that are perforated um, yeah, it's like for vegetables or whatnot is because um, when you put them all in a big box uh, they don't take a bunch of air space the air will actually escape but the parts stay in it um, and it's just a really simple easy way to do that uh, doing that as well in combination with taking just a bunch of photos with your phone um, and you're pretty much dead set on on being able to put everything back together and not losing any parts so that's a good tech tip right there so hopefully this helped you out uh, we're gonna be doing this every tuesday so if you have any questions put them in the comments below uh, you can either email us or put them into the YouTube comments or Instagram. We'll check all those different social media outlets. Uh, and then please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow our channel. And if you do get a chance, check out our Patreon page. Uh, we do this all in our spare time. Uh, and the more Patreons we have, the more able we are to bring you more content and uh, spend more time doing videos like this. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next one.